I have failed a lot in life, um, and, and a lot of people have seen me as failures in the past. When they thought I was failing, I was only failing forward. And with my journey, I've come to realize that there are no failures in life, there are only results. Now, I've been in the country for about, say, seven, eight years. And I, <laughs> I like to say seven or eight years. Out of that seven or eight years, at least six of those years were years of failure. I did so many things. I tried to discover myself. And, you know, I, I acted. I produced a film when I first came to Nigeria. I failed at that. And then from there, I started my record label which I ran for about three and a half years, spent 30 million on it, I didn't make a dime from it, I failed at that, you know. And um, it was a point in my life where, you know, I was depressed and quitting was the only option I had. But faith and me understanding that, the hope I had and as long as I still live and I breathe, I still have the opportunity to try again. And that chance and that opportunity that I took to try again is the reason I'm sitting in this chair today. Um, remember when we were in school, like in secondary school, and you failed a particular class? You had to repeat the class. And in my life, and with my journey, and my experiences, I have tried so many things over and over and over again. And I kept trying until I hit and discovered myself. So if I had quit at any given time when it was so hard, um, and let's say, for example, I went back to America, which is where I'm from, I wouldn't be who I am today. But because I didn't quit, that's why I'm who I am. And there's one saying which I love a lot where people say, adversity causes some men to break and others to break records. It depends on you. You have to make a choice what you want. So there are no failures to me. There are only results. And the fear that people have of failures is why most people quit in the first place. And you need to realize that these fears are feelings. They're not facts because they're inside of you which is where the battle is. It's not actualized yet until you do it. You don't know if you pass or fail, really. So it's the fear inside of you that keeps you or hinders your productivity. And then you stop and you quit. If anybody quit, they won't be who they are today. So at any point in life when those adversities hit me, which I see as, as, um, as a byproduct of the failure itself, I wouldn't be here. They say the seeds of your success are buried in your failures. And the time of your failures are the moments where you learn the experiences, the protocols, the, the, the elements, the factors that you need to sustain when the success comes. You learn those things through failure. And that's what has happened to my life. Because when I failed over and over, I turned my wounds into motivation. I inspire myself by the naysays, the no, the negativities that happens in life. You know, I, I turned this around and I used it against failure itself. Until you do it, you can't even tell what's gonna happen. There are no failures. There are only results. It's either a yes or no. If you knock on a door and they close that door on you, you knock on another door. You keep knocking until you get a yes. So until you personally say, no, I'm tired of knocking, that is when you fail, because that is when you quit. Don't quit.